Hey, hey guys, thanks for coming. And here I'm bringing you another uh, battle here. I'm, this time I'm featuring the Congress. And the reason why I wanted to bring this battle is because it's one of those weird battles that you have like in three or four o'clock in the morning and when there's not that many players. And luckily for me, <laughs> I got into directly in a match that has two enemy CVs and an enemy submarine. So the most hated ships in the game right now, I have them and I'm, and I'm just a measly cruiser. So, and on the other side, the enemy cruiser is the new Rochester, which is the, uh, frankly the two newest American cruisers there are right now in the game uh, of the point that I'm filming, uh, filming the Rochester and the Congress itself. Now, if you ask me which one do I prefer between the Rochester and the Congress, well, I don't have the Rochester and I'm not interested in getting it either. I'm quite content with the Congress. No, it's not an Alaska. I do have the Alaska. It's not an Alaska, but it's, it's a close second to it. So it's not that bad, especially in a teardown. But at this moment, um, I'm trying to figure out what to do because quite frankly, I don't I don't know. I'm already writing to the team. Let's put together and suggest we start putting our A, combine our A in order to survive this because uh, we're very few ships and I can already imagine that the enemy CV players, they're just salivating at this, that they're going to have a field day with us all day long on this match. So I'm just trying to wait directly for our friendly Bismarck in our Massachusetts to see if we come together and start combining our A in order to survive in a way of this. Luckily for me, and this is not uh, this game mode is not about capturing uh, any points or anything like that. It's just shooting the the other team and killing them. So perfect. At least we got that out. Otherwise, it would be even be worse. Now, at this moment, I see the Rochester coming over there, and like I said before, Rochester or Congress. I'll take the Congress. I don't. I don't think the Rochester has a heel anyway. And I can already see that North Carolina is already in front of me, so I'm trying to keep in my bow toward it, but I still don't know what to do. I really don't want to shoot at anybody. <laughs> I don't want to give my position away because I'm really scared. I really don't know what to do. And I can already see that the Shokaku is coming in. He won't, yeah, and he's starting his attack already. So I decided to lift up my A. And even worse, if you see my build right now, I built directly for uh, for hydroacoustic and radio and uh, radar, and I didn't put the AA on this thing because, quite frankly, I find it more important uh, to go and hunt uh, DDs and uh, defending against CVs. And yeah, and I learned my lesson with this match: <laughs> two enemy CVs. So anyway, on that first attack from the Chicago, I was able to get at least five planes from them. I am already spotted, but I'm already targeted by three, and now two. Uh, on this one, but I am still keeping my bow towards the North Carolina because I know it's gonna shoot me. The Rochester is already taking a shot at me. The Poveda is already sh uh, is already making this run. I was I'm only able to take uh, one of its planes off, but I am expecting the torpedoes from it to come because quite again, yeah, and here they come. So I decided to floor it in, start going in, and I am still detected, unfortunately. So that's what this enemy CVs are gonna be doing every single time. And now here comes the Shokaku, ready, I mean, the Poveda, however you pronounce the name of it. And his torpedo attack, I said, well, okay, since I'm gonna get attacked by this guy, I might as well throw in a pop shot at the enemy Bismarck, you know? And luckily for me, this guy, he decided, the, po uh, the Russian CV decides to shoot at me and he completely misses. The other one decides to make his run on the Bismarck and he actually, uh, and he actually got him a couple of torps in there. So for me, I went like, okay, okay. Now, what I do see right now is that the enemy CV has come in 14 kilometers close i decided to take a shot at him i mean why not you're giving me a gift i'm gonna start shooting you're the biggest threat in this game i'm gonna shoot at you and i was able to land at least two shots but this time i already have about an, around 11 airplanes uh already down by this guy i'm trying to survive as much i'm trying to stick next to bismarck to combine our aa 
And yeah, and but also what I see is is that the Shokaku is already coming in here and it's already about 16 kilometers away. And I'm going like uh, and I'm going like, okay, let's see, let's see. So I decided to go in and I said, why not? I'm gonna start putting my bow in, I'm gonna start cruising to them, and I missed my shot that I had directly on the Shokaku. I cannot believe my luck, but I said no. These guys are presenting a gift, I better take it. And I'm start already starting marking to the team, please shoot at the Shokaku, shoot at the Shokaku. And I see that the our, our, our submarine has already launched his torpedoes and I said, oh, this is a very good moment, but he completely misses. I cannot believe that he, the guy, he completely misses. So I said, oh my God. So I have to go in, and at this moment it's already going like crazy. I'm going in the middle of a hornet's nest of airplanes. I already have 19 airplanes shot down, and this is going to be a constant theme in this in this match. And he's already the Shokaku is already going after uh, the Bismarck. Luckily for me, but the uh, but the Shokaku is already giving me a uh, full broadside. I don't know what he was thinking of going forward with it, but if he's going forward for it, I might as well take it. I mean. If a guy like that presents you a gift, you take it. And there I go and I shot and I got a citadel. But I cannot believe a hundred alive. He has a hundred HP. I couldn't believe, but I was able to get him directly with one of my secondaries. I got close quarters and first blood on this one. Couldn't believe it, but I'm still in the middle of this hornet's nest. And I'm still, I should right now just shot down six airplanes. Here comes the last attack of the Shokaku itself. And it really hurt on that one. I know already at this moment I already have a defense expert in so many airplanes and you just see the ticker of the airplane coming up and coming up and coming up and coming up because I am constantly shooting down all these airplanes and I still have the end the last enemy see me there. I cannot believe and this guy he already knows that I'm coming in for him, so he's already sticking in reverse and he's going I'm getting the hell out of here. So he since I'm the biggest threat to him, he's going to be constantly um, attacking me. He's not going to let me go for anything. So I already, he launches his torpedoes. And luckily, I was able to get one and only one, and it didn't do much of damage. But in my back, already have the Rochester already hydrating me, and he's already going after me. And here comes the other attack of the, uh, the CV, and here comes the skip bombers. And I'm going to like, oh my god, oh my god, this is going to hurt. And he misses, the skip bomber misses. I cannot believe it. this is amazing. I have less than seven, I have about seven kilometers from this guy. I'm taking my shots, and please, the reload on this ship is horrible for a cruiser. Just shoot. But I'm still greedy. I want to get all my guns on him so I shoot at him and here comes more enemy airplanes and I'm I, at this run I'm getting five airplanes I'm gonna get hit again directly and oh that hurts a lot I, I don't know if I can make it but I need to kill this guy and here comes the enemy Bismarck directly and I already know that I'm gonna be showing full broadside to the Bismarck and <laughs> I need to get rid of him really fast he already shoots at me I can already see the secondaries work from the Bismarck working on me and this guy, I said, okay, I'm going to ram him, I'm going to ram him, I'm going to ram him. But then again, I go like, no, I'm, I want to do a drive-by on him and I want to kill him and I want to go after the Bismarck. But then I see that the enemy see me, he actually wants to ram me. But then luckily for me, the Massachusetts was able to make a shot on him and kill him. But at that moment, at that turn, it was already too late. I got hit directly by the Bismarck. It, that really took a huge chunk of my life out directly so what i did is that i put my bow in uh on the bismarck since he has um the 380s they uh, this ship with the 27 millimeter bow it will uh ricochet or bounce any of the ap shells that uh, the bismarck will shoot at me so i'm not worried about that but what i am worried about the bismarck and what will kill me is directly all those secondary so He's already going back uh, in reverse in order to get with the Massachusetts and try to ram him directly, but the Massachusetts is able to escape on this one. So I decided to keep on shooting directly on his uh, uh, on his superstructure and was able to get about 9k on this one. And uh, I'm going like, okay, I need to go for the ram. Hopefully I can make it. His secondaries are already chewing me up. I already I hit the repair on this uh, on the fire that I'm going. And is it going in? No, he killed me at that moment. But at this, 
Well, what can I say? It was an amazing, amazing, amazing battle. I liked it very much. Uh, so let's go to the report here. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> So, uh, I was able to do about 67, 67k worth of damage. Um, the amount of airplanes that this ship uh, that I took down were 71 airplanes. <laughs> I, did, I did get my kill with that secondary and uh, first blood. Uh, also, a defense, uh, a defense expert. Uh, I was able to do 15 secondaries and 42 shells on it. Um, so, and I got almost, almost half a mil of, uh, of silver. Uh, I came in first place with uh, 1,984 um, in base XP, which it was quite good. Uh, as you can see here, there was, this was my, actually, uh, the damage that I did uh, directly in the Shokaku. It was 20, uh, 24,246. I did shut down 28 airplanes from the Shokaku, then it was a Russian CV, Poveda, which hopefully I pronounce it correctly. I did 21,682 damage on it, and I did knock out 41 of its airplanes out. Bye bye. And from the Biz from the enemy Bismarck, <laughs> this is the <laughs> this is the beauty of it. I did 21,000 uh, damage on it, but I did knock out two of its uh, two of its planes, which I don't know why it had its planes up. Well, yeah, no, it had its planes up because we had two CV, two friendly CVs, so of course he had to do it. But I did knock out two of his planes. <laughs> okay, so. Now, and this is the amount of money that I received. I was able to keep up around four, uh, four, uh, 438,000 silver after that. Now, my question, was this an interesting match? It was an interesting match. Uh, do I like the Congress? Yes, I do like the Congress, and I do like it a lot. It's not an Alaska, that is for sure. Uh, the Alaska is way better ship than this. The reload's better, the, it has more HP, pool, and everything, and, um, but is it, <coughs> is it worth, uh, is it worth getting the Congress? <clears throat> well, uh, usually in every single video, when I come up with this question, I always say it's up to you, but, okay, at the moment that I'm filming this, it is the 2nd of November, so in a few weeks, uh, there will be Black Friday, and the Alaska B hopefully will come up for sale, uh, the black version of it. So when I go up, when you have a chance between the Alaska and you have a chance between the Congress, it, pff, oh my God, no, there's nothing to think about it. It's the Alaska B. But, <clears throat> but let's say that Black Friday, if you see this video on Black Friday, is not nowhere near, uh, and it's after Black Friday. And you have be and you have no choice. You didn't get the Alaska in the first place. You never had it in, in your port and whatever. Well, is this worth it? Mm, well, that I don't know. Um, I would say kind of yes because um, it's very situational. I do take this ship out a lot for uh, rank battles. It does help me a lot because. Uh, it's American AP. It's uh, it does blap everything, any broadside that it's out there. Uh, the reason why I have the Hydra acoustic and the radar is because whenever I go to rank battles, I always go and hunt down DDs, and you know the the team that, that kills the kills the DDs is most likely to win the match. So, so I build it up for going for hunting DDs. You know, um, <clears throat> so is it worth it? Hmm. Well, if you don't have the Alaska, yeah, sure, why not? Kind of, yes, and, uh, and this is a maybe, yes. It's not It's not the normal, it's up to you guys. It, I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's not a spammy ship like the mines on a tier 8 or, or anything like that, but which, again, if you compare between the mines and the... The mines and the and the Congress. Oh boy, no! I'll take the mines any day, honestly. <laughs> honestly, yeah, no. But it's up to you guys. It's up to you. I only wanted to bring you this uh, match because it's a very unique match. I didn't have the defense AA defense on, uh, but 
I was able to survive this match, I was able to take down 71 airplanes, and this is just I wanted to bring out just to show you the capability of AA uh, that you can do with this ship, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you, and like, dislike, comment, do whatever you want, guys. Hope to see you for the next video. See ya. Bye.